Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my play through GTA 5 on the PS5. If you guys are enjoying this series, please do drop a like because it does help the series out a lot and does help the algorithm. But we're gonna be continuing from where we left off here. We're gonna be doing the Martin Madrazo mission. Uh, I think this is called Kaida Libre, the name of this mission, but um, uh, this is one of the most iconic missions in GTA 5, so I hope that you guys enjoy it. What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work? This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. <laughs> We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, this is my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So, what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The truth. Say. Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. <sighs> but some people. <laughs> They no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who were close to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you married Michael. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Yeah. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier, he's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. That's the guy who hit Michael with the bat. And he's taking so, some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want to drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? He right. treats his wife so you badly. Grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. Also, ah. Martin cheats on his wife all the time. If you play GTA Online, you know that. Um, and also, I guess GTA 5 kind of reveals it um, as well with the uh, house Michael destroyed. Um, you need anything? Get me on the headset. But um, uh, this mission, I'll tell you something. Um, this mission, uh, do I have, uh, music? I do, okay, on the wanted mission soundtrack. But, uh, anyways, this mission, even though it's kind of an iconic mission, there's a lot of things that don't really make much sense with this mission. So, the story of Javier is Javier test <laughs> testifying against Martin. And, um, I think that Javier was probably picked up and arrested, probably for some um, minor charge they got him on. And the, um, uh, the police probably, um, uh, told him that if you testify against him, you'll get a deal, um, you might not even face jail time, you might get immunity um, for the other stuff that you were involved in, because he was involved in a lot of other bad things with Martin, and, um, and so he cracked, and, um, yeah, okay, well, I ain't at the observatory yet, start heading that way, judging by the fact that he's flying to, uh, Liberty City, he's probably the FIB that's, um, uh, involved Understood in this case, Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? The little fertility statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up. We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We weren't casing the joint. <laughs> Okay, the guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him, but it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? The fuck? So, um... This mission, what, I, what doesn't make much sense to me in this mission is... 
judging by the fact that Javier was like a pretty, you know, big guy in the Madrazo cartel, he probably knows a lot of stuff. And like Martin said, he's got files, um, uh, specifically on him. And somebody like that can do ser serious damage right, to the I organization, the bring the whole organization nearby? down. The fact that Martin is just trusting two strangers, you know, Michael he had a little bit of a history with, but Trevor he has no history with, and the fact that, you know, this is somebody that had destroyed his, um, uh, you know, one of his houses, um, before, and that he's having him take care of this for him, if Michael messes this up, Martin's going to prison for life, pretty much, so it, it, that always didn't really make much sense to me, how he just randomly called in Michael and Trevor for this job, and he's like, oh, it's a favor, um, you know, no money, um, involved in this, I, you know, I, it just doesn't make much sense to me personally um the whole purpose of this mission was to set up the patricia storyline that was the purpose of it but um uh you know as for like you know the logic in this mission it doesn't really make much sense see, if you could see this gun it might convince you my team madrazo ain't someone to be messing with the fancier the gun the bigger the pussy who owns it now take down the jet still looking for it where is it I got her. Southwest oh, of the is. city. Gotta shoot in front to compensate for the speed of the jet. This has to be some really high-powered rifle, um, possibly an anti-material rifle. Ah, great. Thought I'd take another shot. Damn, I don't... <laughs> Not good enough. Got it. First strike. Hey, you see it? Plane's coming down. Can you stay with it? So, um, also, a little bit more logic, um, uh... Even if this did happen and somebody shot a plane down like this, um, uh, there would be so many, like, authorities involved in this right now. He's calling air traffic control, he's declaring an emergency. There would be, you know, fire crew and police responding, trying to find where this plane is gonna land. Um, uh, and so, um... Shooting down a plane is gonna get the federal authorities involved in that. And so Martin is gonna have just way more attention on himself. You know, this whole thing is stupid. It would have been better for Martin to kill Javier at a different time, not when he's on the plane. But it would have been better to kill him before he gets to the airport or when he lands. Not like shooting down a plane. Um, I know it's a game and all, but I just I kind of just look at it always in that logic of things. You're not gonna make the runway. This Lily had a runway right there at Sandy Shores. Huh. How you doing out there? We still got him? I'm on him! He's past the airfield! Landing ain't gonna be pretty! Lily, it would have been the best to put, put the plane down yeah, right now, would have been the best to put the plane down. I don't know what the pilot is doing. Trying to find a field, but um, uh, yeah. There's a small matter of having to jump a moving train. We have no hydraulic system, no elevator control, very little aileron control. Serious doubts of making landing strip. Need to ditch. Roger, November 9 to Charlie Echo. You lost your manual flight control system. Pull your flaps. Trevor's gonna yell at Ron here. How's business, Ronald? Okay, this guy's going down any minute. I remember he crashes in a uh, uh, ring seat. Uh, Trevor God, I miss it out here. You gotta come visit sometime. Roger, November 9 to Charlie Echo. What is your stat? God help us. They're in 
the dirt! Good. Get the files. And if the cousin made it, take him out. Sure thing, but seriously, bro, coming all the way out here, we gotta get paid. Just do the job. I'll get us paid down the road. I'm an important guy. You gotta help me out. Oh, call the cops. I'm working with the government. You, you gotta help us. Okay. That's it for Javier. And if you notice, um, uh, they Rockstar actually was kind of lazy with the pilot because they reused the same pilot um, uh, for the um, Solomon mission in the nightclub DLC. So even though he died here, they reused that same exact got... model. Fine, just fine. I got the files. I'll take them to Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Uh, oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. This plane crashed um, right next to a highway. There would be so many um, witnesses and so many federal uh, 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 law enforcement and possibly federal law enforcement that would be coming in really quick. So it's like um, uh, Trevor would barely be able to escape from there. Now oh, what's the... Oh, okay. It was taking a bit of a long time there. Um... Okay, and remember, you gotta blow up this van, too. If I remember correctly, they want you to, uh... Trevor is gonna meet you, like, out here. It's not discovered yet, but that's, like, the place he's gonna meet you at. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shit. Yeah, the trees and the bushes in um uh in Los Santos are uh are a bit annoying. Oh, and this is perfect too. Give me this. Now the GPS is going to change um, course here. What? There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works, a little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ah, I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. It was a really stupid idea for Michael to bring Trevor along on this, because remember, Martin wanted Franklin originally, and um, uh, it was just a really dumb idea for him to, um, uh, to bring Trevor along. He shouldn't have brought Trevor along on this. Where is he? That's Martin's car, remember. Uh, the fuck has happened? Why did he have his car? Man, that piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What? Happen, cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Trevor! don't. Answer a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. <laughs> Oh no! This. Oh shit! What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just 
told you what I just did. Oh, now, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while oh. while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out, you know, it's a, a very relaxing little spot, a little getaway, if you will, a cabin in the woods, you know what I'm saying. I like how Patricia just really just, um, uh, went along with this, um, but, uh, the, Patricia hates her husband so much that, um, uh, that she didn't even care getting kidnapped by Trevor. This, I'm trying to remember what happens now. I think Franklin tries to visit Michael's house. Is that what happens? We got, um, uh, we're playing as, um, a Franklin now, but, um, uh, but, uh, what is this here? Oh, that's, uh, that's Devin's next mission there. Yeah, so this is now when Franklin is gonna call Michael and try to find out what's going on. Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Ah, oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> <sighs> Listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened, and that, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. <laughs> you need your eyes examined, You are man. a good man. I can see that. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes. Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to uh, requisition it. Fantastic. Let's go. Oh, man. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. And watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go. <sighs> the weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane Imagine the awkward the conversation yet. that All like right, Michael and go. Patricia must have right now. What are you gonna do? We're not! Gonna take out a private army on the ground, Ron. We gotta meet him in the air. I, uh, uh, okay. Well, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist, giving back the hardware. That was bullshit. Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merriweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. Yep, I we are a say, professional. I got it. I was expecting something a little more impressive. 
the late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultant's fee and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards and merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci. I want country clubs and a depressed wife with blonde hair and a hot little secretary who bounces on my boy. Maybe if you'd buy into Oscar's business, I'm hearing there's a lot of bounce in the firearms sector. Right, we haven't purchased well, that. I heard there's a lot of bounce in your head. Where's the TP Enterprise windfall, huh? It takes time. Time and money. Sure, and Michael Townley, the Santa, the fuckface is gonna give that to me. Just the plane I need to take on a heavily armed, tax-funded militia. Call our guys south of the border. Tell them there's a fire sale. I'll get you on the radio. No, Ron, you gotta, you gotta move. Whoa. Yeah, I was about to kill Ron there. But um, uh, this is probably my favorite mission in um. Uh, in GTA 5. I like this mission a lot. It is, um, like, uh, you know, the people don't like the flying part because they consider it kind of boring, but, um, I like what it leads into. Like, because th the thing is, when most of us were playing this mission, I don't think we expected, um, uh, to happen what happens in this mission. Come in! The Merriweather plane's in a holding pattern over Mount Chiliad. Try and keep under the radar. Air traffic's being monitored from the military base. Fly as low as possible to avoid detection by the military base. That's because certain radars are only designed to see planes at certain altitudes. That's why, you know, you see in a lot of movies and stuff like that, fly low and uh, they won't detect you. But I don't think that that really works uh, much. I got the cargo plane right ahead of me. You got the weapons they're using to enslave us on board. If we can get a hold of them, oh my god. All the cargo planes stay close to the ground, okay? I know it isn't my place to ask, but how exactly do you plan on requisitioning this equipment and you've caught up to them? Whoa! One step at a time, Ronald! Let's just get there first! They'll start monitoring you at that altitude! Altitude's just fine, Ron! That plane is the, the largest vehicle um, in a GTA is game. Meant to be a restricted airspace. You got bad information, brother. I'm fine. We're approaching Fort Zancudo, Trevor. It's vital you don't fly right over it. Yeah, don't yes, fly right, right over sure, the yeah, base. Yeah, sure. I'm acutely aware of. Enough. There's no way in hell that this type of plane will catch up to that plane. No way. But uh, that plane in real life, the big cargo plane, I think it's um uh hey T, there's some uh dudes around here asking questions about you. I'm looking into it. That's the O'Neills that are looking for him. So, um, that cargo plane is based on a real plane, I can um... I myself out here, bullying, reckless, totally selfish. Do the things that make me me. Like kidnapping the wife of a powerful Mexican gangster and flying a crop duster toward a jumbo jet loaded with mercenaries. Exactly! Everyone's so hung up on appearances in LS, you start to forget who you are. And if you ain't who you are, who the fuck are you? So that, that, uh, oh. 
Oh yeah, this is the worst part you flying near the trees now. The so um uh the uh that plane is based on a Antonov, I think in real life, which is a Russian plane. A Russian cargo plane, and the Antonovs are some of the biggest planes in the world. I think the I think the largest plane in the world is actually an Antonov. You speak to Oscar? The Mexicans? This deal on? I'll let them know it's in the works. The works? I'm not risking life and limb for a shiminate soul. Are you sure? It's just Oscar don't like getting messed with. Do the deal. The guns are good as ours. Okay. Yeah, so see, that's not good. He's promising an arms dealer a shipment of weapons when he doesn't even have it yet. Or, I mean, Oscar's more high. cartel, but... Drop down before they figure it ain't an aberration. Okay, now this is the part where we actually uh, catch up to the plane here. Uh... Ah. I gotta get lower. gonna be really good now. Come in, light aircraft. Identify yourself and state your intent. This is Captain T in a 1989 crop duster. Just enjoying the beautiful San Andreas weather. Unidentified aircraft. Divert your course or we will be forced to shoot you down. Shoot me down? Now that's not very sociable. Gonna take my chances, pal. Now they're gonna start firing RPGs at you here. Fly inside the cargo plane. This is what I don't think most people were expecting this now. You're actually firing rockets? Okay, had a little bit of a crash through OBS here at the worst moment, but uh, they're back on. In reality, the pilot would have closed the cockpit door, which would have been very hard to get through. Meriwether Cargo Jet Ground Control, please be advised of a change of destination. We are now landing at McKenzie Field. The door to, um, again, the cockpit is, like, very, very difficult to actually open up. Um, uh, somebody would need tools, you know, something specific to destroy the Changing door, kick it down. Well, over. you can't even really kick it down. Um, the cargo jet is now part of the TP Enterprise fleet. You with the max. Welcoming parties here, Trevor. Fly safe now. So now this is gonna you see all the sparks coming out here. Most of the guns fell out of the plane oh, anyways. Looks like a problem. Attention very by the jet. No under orders to escort you to base. Change course or we will engage. Oh, are you good diddle yourself? I think this is the craziest uh, mission Ron, in GTA 5 is this one probably. Air Force on me. I wish this plane was in GT Online. I really wish it was. I'm landing at McKenzie Field. We can discuss this there on the dirt like men. This plane, you can't even land this at McKenzie Field. First person in this plane is pretty good. You can try to... Ask twice. This is Captain T telling you to stroke it, pal. You can try to make the jets crash into each other, but no matter what you do in this mission, because people have tried so many things, the jets will, like, yeah, see? So I can try to hit them, but no matter what you do, they're always gonna, um, hit you. Takedown is authorized. Change bearing or we will engage. I don't think you 
understand the effort I've gone to be here, pal. Oh yeah, and there's um, uh, this is definitely a Russian plane. Plane tried to nose dive up like that. It was um, or go nose up, I should say, like that. Um, it would stall. What? What? What just happened? What was that? What? <laughs> what was that? That was that had to be some kind of glitch. crazy you can just see the whole plane going down and also if you get a submarine um, or you dive down there you can actually retrieve some of the guns later on Ooh, damn when a plane hits water at really high speeds like that it's gonna shatter it's gonna fall apart into so many pieces Landed right near um, Chef's meth lab. Well, there um, we we completed that mission, but it didn't um. Oh. Trevor, shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God. The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Ah, oh, good idea. But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay. Look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. So now, um, let me show you guys something else that a lot of people miss um, uh, when they're playing um, uh, this part of the story. Oh, wow, Michael's in Polito Bay? What, the, what is he doing in Polito Bay Austin here? Parks and car parks He's driving and Martin's park. car. I don't know what Michael is doing up uh, here. Um, can you call Martin at this point? Uh, point. I don't know if you can call him. There's even... Yeah, I don't think he's gonna answer it. I cannot come to the fort. But, uh, Michael is exiled from, uh, from, uh, Liberty City right now. But, um, oh, and I still have that waypoint marked. But, uh, let me show you guys what happens if, um, uh, if Michael actually goes back into the, um, uh, into the city. Michael, your last uh, session was concerning. I think we should have another chat. Call me. 
Okay. Let's call Dr. Friedlander then. Doc. Hey, it's me. Michael. Que pasa, amigo? Not good. Things have been pretty fucked up. You seem particularly confused, Mikey. Tell me why. <sighs> Things are bad, Doc. Really bad. Tell me all about it. Sharing is winning. I'm out in the desert now, Doc. My wife left me. My kids. Oh, Christ. We upset some guy, but that wasn't enough. We stole his wife. Now we gotta leave town. I'm living in a trailer with my psycho old buddy Trevor. He keeps killing people, Doc. I mean, you know, shit, me too, but... Ah, oh, Christ, things are just really fucked up again. You've got to make more time for therapy, Michael. This is a major relapse. Have you acted out in any other ways? Not really. I mean, I've been working on myself. I just uh, stole a couple cars, a few. Nothing serious. Nothing serious. Good, good, but I hope we're not back justifying the unjustifiable, my friend. Accept advice? Okay. I really just want to be happy, Doc. That's so bad. Okay, okay. Anything else? What about sex, Michael? I'm doing well, Doc, in that regard. Nothing to report. Not one single thing. That's great, Michael. It's real progress, see? Treatment works when you try. Ever since I pulled that house apart, Doc, I ain't been myself. Not at all. The thing is, Michael, <laughs> you know me. I'm not a sugar coder or a script writer. I mean, we tried a full range of pharmaceutical solutions a couple of years ago, and that went nowhere we want to go back to. Agreed? Agreed. I ain't doing that again. Pissing myself, crying, sleeping in dinner, Howling in the middle of the night? Fuck that shit. Maybe we got the doses a little wrong. You're going to have to get yourself under control. Listen, next time we meet, perhaps we should meet back at my office. But, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm afraid face-to-face -face sessions have got a little more expensive. Oh, I thought you said phone sessions were more expensive. Well, they were, but I realized that wasn't fair, so I raised the price on face-to-face. -face. I'm sure you understand. And if you don't, maybe you should. Be well. Man, so that's, um, uh, that just shows you how, um, a greedy Dr. Friedlander is. Oh my god, that... Yeah, face-to-face -face sessions have gotten more expensive now, too. Um, well, I didn't think it was fair charging you more for, um, uh, for phone sessions, so now I'm gonna charge you more for face-to-face -face sessions, too. Yeah, I need a cab as soon as you can. Of course! The driver should be with you soon. Thanks. So let me show you guys now what happens if you actually go back in the city as Michael at this point in the storyline, because it's, um, uh, uh, it's not good down. So, um, uh, let's see how long it takes until we're tracked down. Oh, here we go. My spotter saw you coming into the city, Michael. You will be dead soon. The city? Well, no, 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 you got the wrong guy, Mr. Madrazo. I'm out in the country. Long holiday. So, see, this is what happens. Martin sends, like, teams of people after you. So I guess... Can, can I even use Michael's safe house at this point in the game? I gotta check that. Yeah, and so you see... Yeah, you can't even use the safe house. And these guys don't stop coming. They don't stop coming until you get... Look look at this. Yeah, these guys, these guys literally do not stop coming. Yeah, um, I, I should get the hell out of the city, because this is not good right now. Okay, but I guess, yeah, um, uh, we're gonna wrap it up here, guys. I gotta get Michael the hell out of here, and even more of them are coming. So, thank you guys for watching, I hope that you guys enjoyed this part, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone.